Hi, Narai here. Gonna do this reading for Aries. It is gonna be really fast because I'm in my car and it's hot and my last reading took too long and I have five more to do after you guys. So, we're gonna do a reading for Aries. So, we're gonna pull cards. I have a new deck, which is absolutely lovely. I am using the Angel Wisdom Tarot. I, yes, Angel Wisdom Tarot. I saw this on another YouTube channel, um, and I was like, I have to have that. Um, it's got the angels on it, and it's associated with the different angels. I need to learn about them because I've been called to them. But this is for Aries, no matter what sign you are, as long as you have Aries placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, South nodes, Jupiter, Saturn, a different state. I don't care. So, I'm going to pull five cards. This is going to be a quick reading for you guys. I'm going to pull one from the top, Spirit, and one from the bottom. From the top, and one from the bottom. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. What? Oh my god, I cannot make this up. I'm putting these away. I'm going to read these in the order they came out. Mm -hmm. This is so good, Aries. I am not even kidding you. So I'm going to read the cards. I have the five of pentacles. It says negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. So some of you may have felt left out in the cold by somebody. You may have had to leave someone out in the cold also. But if you keep dwelling on the fact that that happened, it's just going to put you in a negative mind space and lower your vibration. Um, some of you may actually be struggling with money at this time. If you are, a major investment is not the thing to do because you don't want to be at a loss. So here is that card. So, this perfectly leads to the Ten of Swords, which is the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. Um, and I will say sometimes we have to create the Three of Swords or the Ten of Swords for ourselves in order to save ourselves. But this says the opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an addiction, a melodrama, melodramatic reaction. So just because th something ends and things fall apart doesn't mean it always has to remain a tragedy. Try to find the blessing in it because sometimes it makes an opportunity for a new beginning. Oh my God, this is so wonderful. So I have the Page of Swords. And this is a logical perception, which is perfect because it's right after the Ten of Swords. So this is a logical, perceptive, insightful, um, excuse me. This is being logical, perceptive, insightful, and blunt. This is the energy of the person. So you may have been this way after being in the Ten of Swords. Um, it says an exciting intellectual challenge. Brilliant insights, information that you need but might not, but might be challenging to receive. Um, review all documents very carefully. So Saturn is in retrograde right now. This is the planet um, and season for lessons and karma. So for this, you may have to be more logical in your thinking of things, especially when it comes to relationships because of what has happened in the past. Um, when it comes to paperwork, make sure you are reviewing them because um, in retrogrades, paperwork's not necessarily something people want to fill out. 
But this I, this retrograde, I think, is until October. It's not Mercury retrograde. may as well be. Um, so there may be information coming in, but it's saying it might be challenging to receive. And it could be because you're kind of got your, you have your guard up because of what has happened already. But don't. Do not. Do not. Because this message could be from someone... Um, especially if time has if, if time has gone by and it's somebody from the past or it may be someone new don't be so quick to shut people off because I pulled a ten of cups man man I pulled a ten of cups so this is a happy marriage happily ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with your children raising children wisely and successfully and people you can trust happy house happy spouse and not only did I pull that, I pulled the two of cups. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love, Aries. Don't give up on people you love, Aries, because you never know. You got the lovers. Embrace true love and deep intimate friendships make choices from the heart vibrant health or recovery from an illness the lovers has to do with a choice and some of you may have some somebody some of you and someone may realize what the correct choice is And somebody may realize that you are their true love, their soulmate, their divine counterpart. So Aries, that is what I have for you guys. Congratulations. This is so beautiful. Mm. Absolutely. Is that who I think it is? I think the last two cards, and I didn't go over the associations with the angels, but I think the last two cards are Raphael. Which angels, please and thank you. One moment, too. I don't know why I feel like I need to, but I feel like I need to. RP. Here we are. Yeah, the last two angels are associated with Angel Raphael. Archangel Raphael. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Aries. I love you guys. Please hit the like button, um, share, and subscribe. I wish you the best. And bye.